Bayan Bani banks and Bayan Bani bridges, where the sun shines bright on the gloaming. Our kids are very expressive, either. Uh, visually or vocally, and they learn in, in ways that are, are sometimes different. They find a fit here with other people that are like them, that um, are free to really explore who they are and how they want to go through life. I think that to have a small school and a tight-knit community within a larger school is a huge asset because now you have access to large theater productions. If you want to play on the football team, you can. There are all the big school benefits that you get while at the same time taking classes with the same teachers and the same groups of students, and that is kind of unheard of in Oregon. It is a free public charter school sponsored by the North Clackamas School District. We're able to accept students from anywhere in the state of Oregon and they are accepted on an application basis. I think Ma is unique because from the moment that the kids come into the room they're engaged in the classroom. And I think it's also important to realize that the kids will be with me in science from the 9th through the 10th, uh, helping them through the 11th and then back with me in the 12th. So what I get to know the kid in the beginning, uh, we're family after that. Being around a community that's filled with a lot of like creators and creative people has been really cool, really inspiring. When I walk into a Ma classroom, I know everybody in the room. I know my teacher really well and I can talk to her about things. And it's just, it's a lot more comfortable. They always help you no matter what. Like, don't ever be afraid to ask questions because they will always be on your side. They're ready to help you get an A and pass the class. It's a school that really values a student's um, abilities and their creativity. Um, I get to exercise my music and my art and my love for like all the subjects. And it just, I just love it here so much. <laughs> I firmly believe that it is the community that the kids create in being together, and our job is to foster it. How often do we say, when am I ever going to use geometry in real life? Well, you use geometry when you design a set. When am I ever going to use science in real life? Well, there's the science of theater lighting. There's the science of pigment uh, mixing. Color mixing. Color mixing. Uh, making connections between history and English. It's an easy one for us to see, but it's not so easy for the students who are compartmentalized in their core classes. The teachers expect a lot out of you, and they, they push you to do better. And the way that I infuse art is a couple of different ways. We have some unique project opportunities where instead of doing like a research paper, you're doing a skit, poetry, original art based on the historical content that we are studying. Additionally, we also do research papers on artists. You do Renaissance research papers in world history, and then we look at the Harlem Renaissance more carefully in U.S. history. First of all, they need to do quality work. Uh, also, uh, second of all, they have to be involved with the subject and I like to um, use a lot of visualizations and a lot of hands-on and I also uh, think it's important that humor be involved constantly. Our teachers get the art kid. They really understand the right brain thinker and are able to inspire and motivate and reach the art-minded students. I feel welcomed here and I feel accepted to be myself. More students with your same interests so you could get together with a group of friends who really wanted to do the same thing as you, really liked what you liked. If I wasn't in Ma, I wouldn't be in all these musicals and all these plays, and I wouldn't be in two choirs at once doing all these performances and competitions. Nobody really wants to stretch themselves out that thin, but being in Ma, I feel relaxed enough that I can and that I'm able and capable of doing every single thing. We want real world standards. We're not gonna be okay with just, oh, I need a poster here, grab a marker, make it, click it, and we're good. No, you can do better. Let's push ourselves. Let's see how good you can be. Many of our students graduate from Milwaukee Academy Arts with 50 or more college credits, which is equivalent to a, a whole scholarship to their freshman year. I think I found that I fit into Ma because in Ma, everybody's there to pursue something creatively, which means that everyone has a sort of creative passion. We have a lot more to do and uh, we have a, we're surrounded by a bunch of kids that are in process and uh, what I love is is how they all come together and uh, our high graduation rate and uh, our high scores on our state tests. We work together as a team of teachers, especially when they want to do extra things in our department and we can use that a little bit more. Oh, so your math class isn't going so well. Well, sweetie, let's sit down and talk about this. <laughs> we have to make this work. 
they go in ninth and 10th grade from class to class to class together. And that fosters this sense of belonging. It also fosters this idea that we are at school and this is what we do. Oh, did you get your assignment done for blacksmith? Do you have your rough draft done for Poland? Your arts lab, oh my God, arts lab is killing me. You know, they talk to each other about it. And out of that comes the culture of we do school. That's the expectation. All of our students go on and use their artistic backgrounds in a variety of ways. Creativity and problem solving have always gone hand in hand and those skills and abilities are gonna serve them well for the rest of their lives.